grains, I have no idea. None whatsoever. What's in this box? This box was sent to me by Super Rain Dizzle. If you don't know her, she is so fun and I absolutely love her. She has an art channel that does different challenges, explores different products, and I love her so much. I really do love her sense of humor. She reminds me a lot of my sister. So there's like And my buddy is so close to 1 million subscribers. Let's send some grains over there and get her closer to that goal. So after this video, go ahead and check out what I sent her because I'm hoping it's going to annoy her. I don't know why we both sent each other products that we're hoping that it's going to annoy each other because I guess we like each other's salty side. So here's a message from Ray about what's in this box. Hey Jackie, it's Ray here. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for letting me be on your channel. That is a huge honor and I appreciate it so much. Now, whenever we set up this collab, I pretty much knew instantly what I was gonna get you. Now, I'm not gonna reveal what it is. I I'm gonna let you do that here on camera, but all I'm gonna say is that it's Amazon's lowest rated craft supply kit that I could find on the website. As of right now, it has over 201 reviews at a whopping two and a half stars. And some of the reviews include Product arrived defected Total disappointment Very disappointed Useless Not good Very disappointed Sad face Bad product Just not that fun And the reviews for it just go on and on and on So Jackie, good luck, have fun, and try not to hate me too much <laughs> So the only hint we're getting is that this is the lowest craft kit rated product on Amazon. Oi, shout out time. This week's shout outs go to Wolf Bonnie Plays, Cosmic Vermilion Ginger Girl, Cake Draws, Neo Kulisov, and Joy from No Mullet. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. That is all. Without further delay, Let's see what we get inside. Oh my gosh, I heard about this. And the first thing I see inside is this note from Ray. Hi Jackie, enjoy the abomination inside from Ray Dizzle. Ray, I'm really happy we're collaborating. But why must you provoke me? All right, first things first that I noticed from experience is that the front of the box are not the creations themselves. That is bad news. Bad news, because on the box, we're getting drawings of the end result instead of the actual end result. So this clay is supposed to be an air dry clay kit. Say that five times fast. And we're supposed to be able to make donuts and sweets and macarons. I don't know the concept, so I'm really, really interested to try it out with you grains. Again, if we look in the back of the box, we see that the kids are real, but the creations right in front of them are, again, drawings. That worries me to a whole new level. All right, let's, let's do the opening. Here's what we get inside. Four packets, I assume, is the clay, but there's no mention of what colors are inside. Four containers to store the clay. Plastic sprinkles, some tiny accessories. Holy moly, a bag of molds. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm experienced with clay and I'm feeling overwhelmed with all of this. And I don't know what this is. Looks like a mayonnaise thing. What are you doing here? We also get a cake stand, circle sprinkles, and then these gimmicky displays that, that could be pretty cute. But I guess the most important thing is not the gimmick, but the craft itself. If we look online, it says that this kit is $8.27 US. Now, I don't know if the original price was $23 and the, the reviews made the price go down. Let's assume that it is $8.27. So far for that price, it seems like we're getting quite a bit. And we also get the instructional manual, which is like this long thing over here. So I'm going to read this and try and figure out how to use this stuff. This is the biggest pile of trashy instructions I have ever seen. This is what you get. All of this is generic information about how to pop it out of the actual poppy machine. And then this is all you get for this whole kit, how to make what you need to make. That's it. We're just getting this instruction and I'm not even sure how to do it. But we're just gonna have to experiment and try it out ourselves. So first things first, let's see what this clay really is like. It's supposed to be air dry clay, so I'm expecting it to be fluffy. I mean, good. <gasps> we need this. Oh, they really packed it in there. I guess that's good. It won't be, it won't be dry. Smells like nothing. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. This is already hardened. <gasps> Looks like Oreo. Listen. You can't do anything with this. This is garbage. Let's try the other colors. Let's wait. Let's breathe. 
Okay, back into Zen mode. Let's breathe out. <sighs> okay, let's try the other ones. Not sure what this color is, but let's give it a go. Oh man, that is bad news. That is bad news. Yep, this one has already hardened. And not the kind of hardened where you can fix it back and reuse it. I'll show you air dry clay in not too long. This is not the texture of air dry clay. Yeah, you see, this is not, this is not it. You know where this goes? In the trash! Let's just test them all and see if there's any of them that are salvageable. It's bad news when it's shrunken inside already. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it has hardened also. Pink is also trash. And I assume this is white. And white is also garbage. Dear companies, why do you do this? Why do you send out crap kits just to make some money? Don't even test your own products. Because right now, you're disappointing me! Off with you off the shelf. If you're not sure what air dry clay is supposed to look and feel like, let's give it a go. This is from my own stash from Japan. Gonna need to do a lot of cleaning today. And as you can see, it's supposed to come off easily. And in your hand, look at this, smush. That's the texture. You can wet it to get it even softer, but essentially what we got was trash. I want to see if there's a way that we can revive this piece of clay by probably adding just a little bit of water and kneading it and hopefully we can revive it back. It's a possibility, but again, it's 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 supposed to come ready. It is getting softer, but at the same time, it's also getting extremely crumbly. Does that even make sense? So this is the softest I could get it to be, which is still soft enough, but it's extremely crumbly. And if I try to put a little more water, then what ends up happening is it becomes extremely sticky and gooey and mushy. It's really not that salvageable. So let's let's do a little test. Put it in the donut mold. That is gonna be one lumpy donut. And then the other side. It, it just it doesn't want to keep its shape. It keeps retracting. Alright, so let's close it up. And I don't know what I guess I'm supposed to put it here. I guess the idea of the pop it is that the piece is supposed to pop right out once you just blow the air over here. So kind of like... There we go. Only took one try. So here's our lumpy donut that doesn't want to stick to itself. It's abomination. It's okay, little donut. I love you. I'll take care of you. Even if pop it didn't. <laughs> All right, let's just do a quick test with the air dry clay that I have from my closet. It's been in my closet for almost a year now. So let's let's put a piece of clay in here and up here. And the instruction does say to remove if there's too much excess. So All right, let's get rid of that. So here's our donut and let's see if the pop it works when the clay works. The answer is no, it doesn't work. Their whole marketing is pop it. So we're supposed to be hearing the pop sound, the piece is supposed to come right out. No, and there's a hole right in the back here. So let's let's block that one. Just no. Whoever made this really did the intention of just like scamming and deceiving right off the bat. If the picture on the front of the box is not the actual creation, but a drawing of the creation, that is a huge red flag. Let's just try to get it out. There you go. That wasn't so hard. We could have just done this. Gimmick. Just so you have an idea of the difference between their clay and my own clay, this is the donut we made with their clay that I tried to revive by adding a little bit more water. And here's the donut that we made with my year old clay. So one of them has to sort out through some issues and the other one looks fine, pretty edible. This you would find at a discount store and this you could get from the grocery store. I mean, if they taste the same, who really cares, right? One last thing we're gonna try is putting some sprinkles on these. So we're just gonna put a little bit of water and just put the sprinkles on top. I think it's time for us to go over there and have a chat. A very serious chat. Time to find out, is this kit? No, no. If you're new to Salty Crafter, here we like to um, point out the, the bad things first. Actually, what I mean is we like to bring out the salt. Because with oxygen, we can breathe, but with salt, we add spice to our life. And with that, we like to start with the cons. Number one, there are no actual instructions. It does tell you what pieces are in there, and also the projects that you could do, but there's no actual guidance to the pieces 
nor the projects. Even though the instruction had so many pages, it didn't explain what the molds were for or how to use them. It said just, just put clay inside and then pop it out, but everything else in between was kind of lost. On the clay packs, there's no actual mention of what colors are inside. What if I just wanted to use two colors and keep the rest sealed in in case I thought, you know, they were protected, but they're not? That's, that's another con. But there's no labels of the colors. There's no actual project shown on the box itself. Does it mean that they know that their clay is crap? Or is it because they just didn't take the time to make them? Instead, they just commissioned someone to make all of these drawings. You see the problem here? That's a scam. There's nothing that bothers me more than companies who don't actually research their own materials and whether or not their materials are going to arrive safe. And with that said, the clay all arrived hardened, massacred. And I didn't even do it myself. Like, at least give me the chance to destroy things. But this time, you did it for me. Let's look at this clip again. It doesn't pop out. It's just going like that with air, but it's not popping out. The whole box is called, let's look at the box again, pop it. But there's no pop in it. I can't help but feel like the molds are an extra step instead of learning how to actually put things together and make shapes. This kit was so frustrating. Not only were there so many pieces of, of molds, the clay was broken, the pop it didn't pop. It was just frustrating. That's, that's all I gotta say is just frustrating to play with. I'm pretty sure the sprinkles were not meant to be used in one shot, so why is it that we don't have sealable bags for this sprinkle kit? Give me sealable bags. We're needed. In addition to it being frustrating for con number eight, con number 10 is, is just adding to it because nothing works in this kit. The sealed bags for the clay, it failed. The popping, it failed. The clay, it failed. So what's left in this kit? A huge part of me felt really guilty unboxing this kit because there was just so much plastic. I felt environmentally very self-conscious. Like usually I'm conscious about it, but guilty about a kit? That was new for me. I mean, just look at all this plastic. It is so wasteful. And since nothing works, cone number 12 is that it's a waste of money, pure and simple. This is by far the worst, thank you, Ray, air dry kit that I have ever done. I would probably highly recommend the Scholastic air dry clay baking set. I did a video about that. If you're interested, I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, this has got to be the worst one thus far. In addition to having useless plastic, we had useless displays. Obviously, if nothing works, those displays are useless. That's, that's all I gotta say about that. It's just gimmicky. There's nothing learned in this skill. I didn't particularly learn to make shapes. I didn't particularly learn how to actually put things together. So in essence, this kit was just wasteful. It, it was wasteful of, of time, money, and a learned opportunity, or an opportunity to learn. Opportunity to learn. Normally, I try to be fair and put some pros, but this kit does not deserve any pros whatsoever. It doesn't deliver on its promise. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of plastic. It's, it's triggered me so much. And so I'm going to have to rate it in the same way that I've rated the art box from Guava Juice. And so I give this kit a minus 10 on 10 dorks. Mm, I'm, I'm so salty. So salty right now. Ray, I knew that you wanted me to be very salty and you have succeeded. Part of me wants you to be salty too, but another part of me really hopes that at least some part of the kit I sent you works, so hopefully it did. Grains, if you haven't seen her video and subscribe to her, make sure you check her out. She is absolutely wonderful, one of my favorite channels here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Ray, for collaborating with me. I, this was so fun and frustrating. I, I feel like I need to go meditate right now. But if you want to watch a crafty video, check it out up here. And if you want to watch another salty video, because this was not enough, <coughs> too much salt, you know where to find it. Until then, I will see you, Grains, in the next video.